Today I will show you how to make the best roto brush transition. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a bunch of clips of one and only from his Chump Change music video. And what you can do instantly is go to the clip that you want to make this transition on, press Ctrl D on it, and that will duplicate your clip. And now right click and go to pre-compose. And here you can call this Roto Layer or whatever you want and go to Move All Attributes into New Composition and press OK. And here we need to double press on. And now you need to double press on the clip again and here you need to go to the roto brush and just start to roto brush your character out there are a bunch of tutorials on youtube on how to roto brush so you should definitely know how to roto brush and if you don't know just check out the tutorials it is very very easy and once you're done roto brushing don't forget to freeze we're pretty much doing this to mask out the character but i'm actually already roto brushed this clip as you can see if i uncheck this it will already be masked out as i want it to be it's not the most perfect roto brush don't worry you don't have to make it the best so i'm gonna check back the first clip layer again and what we can do is we can pretty much go to like the start of the clip somewhere right here and we can add as motion detect on this roto brush layer now this effect is not one of the most important effects by the way just remember that but i'm going to make the delay frames here to three and i'll add as dissolve luma and i'm actually going to go to the complete ending frame of this and here i'm going to make the dissolve percentage to zero and now I'm going to add four color gradient to give our auto brush some color. Now at the start, it's going to be like this. So you need to go to blending mode and you need to make it to screen. And here I actually like to go to color one and I like to make it to kind of like this blue, but not fully blue. You know, I don't really know what this color is. Yeah, I like to make it like literally like this. You can copy the hashtag if you want and press OK. And now I'm going to go to this tool and I'm going to press on the color and I'm not going to change anything else here. And now I like to add card dance. Now I absolutely love love this effect and I'll show you what it does right now. So I like to go to gradient layer here and I like to select it to the roto brush layer that we have. So this is the roto yay layer. So let's select it. And I like to make the rows here to 468, the columns to 150. And I like to go to zero rotation. And here, this is like the most important part. I like to make the source to intensity one. And now it's going to look like this, but we need to go and make the multiplier to 599. And it's going to start looking like this. Don't worry guys, it looks terrible right now it's going to look great after we fix it so now we need to add an effect called deep glow 2 or deep glow 1 it doesn't really matter you can actually not even add this effect but i like it for the glow and another effect like that is s flicker and here i like to make it to 0.68 and i like to keyframe it here to 0.68 and the last effect i like to add here is s distort chroma which requires the sapphire plugin by the way and here i'm gonna keyframe the amount to one and i'm gonna go to blur lens i'm gonna make it to 132 and i will keyframe it here as well and now we can actually right click, go to blending mode and make it to screen. All right. And now we can press U to see all of the keyframes that we made. And actually, I'm just going to turn off the S motion detect for now. I don't really know why, but sometimes it just doesn't work as an effect. So I'm going to take all of the keyframes that we made here and drag it to the last frame where we will transition on to the next clip from this clip to the next clip. And here, let's go to the start and I'm going to make the dissolve percentage to 100, the S flicker amplitude to zero the as the stored chroma amount to zero and the blur lens to 350 and now I'm going to select all of the keyframes, press F9, and now let's press the stall percentage and go to the graph editor. Now, don't want to get scared of graphs, guys. This is going to be really easy. I'm just going to drag this point quite down like this and this point quite up like this. What this will pretty much do is it will make these colors that you will see right now pop out here, but not go fully into the character. I, I hope I explained that well. I don't know if I explained it well. And you can actually drag this point even more down, something like that. And now we can go out of the graph editor and let's go to the s flicker graph editor and i'm just going to make this something like this nothing fancy just yeah, just like that now let's go out of it and now let's go to the s distort homa amount graph and here i'm going to make this point go somewhere like here and this point a little bit down like this and that's going to look pretty cool now let's go out of it and you don't need to change anything in the blur lens graph if you, if you don't want to. and now what you can actually do is turn on the s motion detect and now it should theoretically look really really well this 
as you can see, looks absolutely amazing, but we can make it look so much cooler, although that is already brilliant. So what we can actually do is we can press Ctrl Y, and on this adjustment layer, I'm going to add as hotspots, and at the start, I'm going to make the threshold to zero, and I will keyframe it, and I will keyframe the blur input to zero here as well. And let's just go to the ending, and I'll make the blur input to four, and the threshold to 0 0.45. And here you can press U, and you can select all of the keyframes, press F9, and you can go to the threshold graph editor, and if you want, you can make it something like this, a little bit like that. I, I think that looks kind of cool. And we can actually call this layer hot spots. And now let's go on top, and here press Control to Y. And I love that as the solve shape, for which you also need the sapphire plugin. I'm sorry for that, guys. And here you need to keyframe the, sol the solve percentage to zero at the start. And let's go to the ending, and let's make it to 37%. Now we need to press U, select all the keyframes, press F9, go to the graph editor, and here you need to stick this out like this and point this down like that. So it will pretty much just shake it up. But you also need to add a motion tile because as you can see, these black ports start to pop out and we don't want them here. So we need to put motion tile on top of it to solve shake. And what we need to do is just press on mirror edges. And now everything should look perfectly fine. And what you can also do is you can just call this layer to shake. So this is how it's going to look right now. Absolutely ridiculously cool. I mean, I just love it. What you can also do is right click here and you can just choose the blending mode normal and it's going to look just a little bit different. I like both of the versions, but you know, you can play around with screen or not. I also did this on other clips. So here I actually did not use the screen uh, blending mode. I just used normal. I thought it looked really, really good right here. As you can see, that looks brilliant. And if you want like to transition from this clip to this clip, as you can see, like there is something missing here. So what you could do is like you can press control Y and you could just add shakes or anything. So you can just add the S to solve shake and just mess around with the keyframes. That might take a long time to perfect though. So I'm going to go to animation presets, user presets, and I want to add a way better effect. So I'm going to go to my ultimate impact bundle. And one of my crazy presets packs from my ultimate impact bundle is impact presets V2. So from that pack, I'm just going to drag RGB impact. This is a huge shortcut I like to use, which saves me hours of time. And as you can see, that looks brilliant. So that one is done here. But here, I want to transition from this clip to this clip, which is going to be like a brighter clip. So here I can just press control Y and you could also add a shake, but I'm going to add a way more fun effect. I'm going to add LSD hit too. It kind of gives you like this crazy LSD distortion. So I really like it. Oh yeah. And I also added this effect on this brighter clip. So I think that looks really, really cool. Oh yeah. And also look how the LSD hit too looks here. Wait, just look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. It just kind of like fills up the effect, you know, like the RGB impact and the LSD hit too. By the way, these are just like two very random effects I just chose from the impact presets we two pack. And you could also add insanely cool impacts just from the impact presets as well. These packs are both included in my ultimate impact bundle. So if you want to get these crazy impact effects that look ridiculously cool, I have them on my Pawikos.com website included in my ultimate impact bundle, which I will leave a link down for it in the description. But anyways, guys, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions, then please let me know. I had a bunch of fun making this tutorial. Oh yeah, and also guys, if you watch this video right here, you will be taken to another crazy music video transition tutorial.